Hello friends and welcome. As usual, it's been a hot second and I've missed you and I've missed recording videos in this format. I'm so used to doing the Instagram thing, but I'm so sick of Instagram, Lord knows. I may just abandon that platform altogether at some point in time. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I am on my way to growing out the Bixie. We started with the Shullet. We then went to a full on Pixie. Then that evolved into a Bixie, the combo, the baby of a Bob and a Pixie. And now we're at what I'm affectionately calling the Meg Ryan. One of my curl friends on Instagram said, your hair looks kind of like Meg Ryan. And it just sort of took on a life of its own. So this is the Meg. So if you hear me affectionately referring to my hair as the Meg, I'm gonna go wash Meg today. Meg needs to be washed. This is what we're talking about. And the funny thing is I thought this pixie grow out was going to be such a chore and it has actually turned out to be not bad at all. The biggest challenge is having the pieces by my ear catch up with the part at the back of my neck. This nape of my neck situation, this gap right here is a little bit painful. But the funny thing is I've gotten so many compliments on my hair during this grow out. It's actually surprised me. And I think there's a couple things at play here. Number one, distraction wearing earrings to sort of bridge this gap has been a huge game changer in terms of just distracting, pretending like it doesn't exist. The second thing is not over styling my hair. I'm not shooting for a lot of definition. I'm not shooting for a lot of volume. I'm just shooting for texture and messiness and some movement, that's it. And it makes for a really easy grow out and a really easy haircut. I think I'm actually really gonna miss this particular cut when it has finally grown out into a bob. No, there's not a lot of tucking it behind my ears. There's no ponytails. That's kind of what I'm in it for, the grow out. I'm in the grow out for the ponytail. Like I miss me a good messy ponytail. So that's what we're here for today. But I really feel like when this gets blown by the breeze, I don't care. I don't worry about it. It makes life so easy. Styling it is a breeze. I'm using all hair story products to cleanse and style my hair today. Let me walk you through what I'm using. So these are my styling superheroes today. New Wash Original. This is the hair story cleansing conditioner followed by Hair Balm. This is a protein rich styling cream and a little bit goes a long way followed by Undressed, this is a texture spray. It's also great for refreshing, but this undressed texture spray is like a saltless salt spray that you really can't use too much of. It just adds a nice grit and texture to the hair. Um, it's great used on wet or dry hair. These two together work kind of like a gel. And if you haven't seen my video on how I use these products, you can check out that video. Um, I recorded that months and months ago, but I'm using these again today and I'll show you how I use them. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's head straight to the shower. We're gonna cleanse and condition in one step and then we're going to style and I'll show you how the Meg gets cleansed and styled. So this is what we're starting with today. We're on day five. It looks a little bit mullety. You can see that it's this disconnection right here that creates the mullet or the Dorothy Hamill, if you will. Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's definitely a thing. But on day five, or even on day two, the thing that kills me is the back of my hair and just how much longer it is. I'm gonna show you guys, check this out. Do you see how like long and straight this is? And this is purely from being slept on. So when I go see my stylist to have her help me with the back of my hair, cause I can't do the back of my hair myself, at least not, not those bits back there. I can do all this. I can do everything I can see easily. I can do this, but this is the tough part. I always go with my hair styled day one, the way I normally wear it. And she's like shocked at how much longer it is once she gets it wet. And see, if she hadn't seen that before, if that perspective is everything. If she hadn't seen that before, probably would have cut a lot more off. And I would have been really upset at how much it would set me back in my grow out. So this is what we're starting with, just to give you guys an idea of what day five might look like. Uh, let's go hop in the shower and I'll show you how I cleanse, how I'm styling my hair, how I'm styling the, uh, the Meg Ryan. It's shower time. All right, guys. So the first thing I do is get my hair super, super wet. It might take a minute. The next thing I do is wash my hair with new wash. I'm gonna show you how much I use because I find number one thing that my clients are doing wrong is not using enough product. I'm gonna start with this much right here. And this is gonna be worked from my temple area on the top of my head as far back as I can get it. And then if I need a little bit more, I'll show you how to do that. I'll take a little bit more and bring it from my nape up to me where I stop. So I'm very wet hair, I place it where I want it, and then I use my finger to scrub, 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 scrub it in. Just a teeny tiny amount. 
and this is going to be for underneath. If you have longer hair, remember that you need to work it through your ends as well. Last little bit, and this is like the conditioner. It is such a good detangler. Y'all, if you don't use it as a cleanser, just try it as a conditioner after your regular simple cleanser or shampoo or whatever you use. I use it on my kids to detangle. It is like the biggest tangle buster I've ever tried. Now I'm going to let this sit while I bathe, shave, sing a song. Then I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna scrub it out the way I scrubbed it in. All right, time to rinse. Make sure you scrub it out just like you scrubbed it in. All clean. Time to go style. All right, the thing about Meg is she doesn't like to be messed with a whole lot. So I've had this little Turby Twist thing. Who makes this one? This is an Aquas, Aquas, Aquas towel. I try not to leave it on for that long. And then I give Meg here. Do y'all ever talk about your hair like it's its own being? A minute to just be herself and figure out what she wants to look like today because this is a hairstyle that is best left understyled. We're not going for lots of definition. We're not even going for lots of volume. We're just going for lots of texture. So today I'm using two of my favorite hair story products, Hair Balm and Undressed. Here's how much I'm gonna use of each because I don't have very much hair. This is half of a pump of Hair Balm, okay? So that's gonna go in. So I'm gonna rub my hands together, emulsify like so till we're white and scary. And this little praying hands trick is just to make sure I get enough product on everything. I want everybody to be covered. These little bits by my ear, I'm gonna bring them forward and in because they want to flip out. So I'm gonna use my finger to roll them in towards my face. They're going to flip out anyway. Give them time. Cause they're so wispy from being razor cut for so long, which I loved, but I need them to behave themselves now. And then I look for any hairs that are just kind of out of place, not doing what I want. This big clump right here. A lot of styling, a shorter hairstyle, is just arranging the hair until you like it. Getting it in place until it feels right, because I've said this a thousand times, but I feel like I can't say it enough. If you like the way it looks when it's wet, you will like the way it looks when it's dry. If you guys want to see a video on how I style a longer hairstyle, I'll be filming some tutorials later on, but go ahead and check out thewavylife.com and check out the Wavy Experience class that I filmed earlier in 2022. It's a whole cool setup from consultation to cut to cleanse and style. It's following a Wavy through an entire appointment with me and it's two hours long. It's a lot of detail. There's a whole workbook that comes with it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so undressed is what I'm gonna follow up with next. So this gets spritzed across the hair. It's like a salt spray without the salt. You really can't use too much of it and it just adds really wonderful grit and texture to the hair and it makes a really, really wonderful, refreshing product for days two, three, four, however many days you go in between. I'm not a huge fan of what's happening here in the front, but sometimes when I diffuse, my hair expands a bit and surprises me and I'm like, oh, that was good after all. So let's go ahead and film the diffusing process. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that we welcomed a new baby into the family in April on my birthday. Her name is Cookie. I love her. She is so cute. First thing I do is the area that I like the least, and that is the back of my head that tends to fall flat. And so it is what's going to get diffused first. First we lift, place, and diffuse. All right, once I've got some texture there that I like, I start to move on, see? I told you it was only a matter of time before everybody started to flip out. It's only a matter of time, but that's fine because we're growing this out. This needs to meet this to be a bob. We'll get there, it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna work this top section, but I'm gonna flip upside down to do this section because I want more lift and I want more texture here. Now flipping upside down to diffuse can sometimes give you surprises you don't want. If you don't like them, just wet them. Break all those hydrogen bonds again. You are so much more in control of your hair when it's wet than when it's dry. There you go. I'm gonna flip just a little bit and we'll lift with my fingers and bring this up. Texture. You might notice one of the things I'm doing with this Dyson is I'm not 
turning it off between every section and that's totally intentional. I've figured out that it doesn't matter so much with this particular haircut. If the hair's a little bit messier, that's kind of the look anyway. Plus the airflow from this particular diffuser is so gentle that it really doesn't blow the hair too far away from the hair I'm going towards. So I don't feel the need to turn it off and on quite as much, which is, I feel like a blow dryer saver anyway. Doing this size, I'm gonna place this where I want it. I'm lifting this up to create texture. And then holding it in place for maybe 20 seconds or so. All right, I'm gonna do the front now. I want just a little boost in this hair. So you show it the way with blow dryer. And then it's all happy. One thing I want you to also notice is that I'm drying all the hair above my ears here to start. I talk about that a lot in the way we experience class. Once I've gotten the top the way I like it with all the lift and volume that I want it to have, then I'm gonna go down here and work on the bottom. Creating an angle from my head on purpose to create more volume out to the side. See that shape take place? Cool, right? All right. Now right here, we're all flipping out. I'm gonna use these teeth to almost comb my hair down and then bring it out and lift it up. Cool, cool, cool. I'm liking where this is going. The areas I feel need some love now are just down here at the bottom. I'm gonna use my finger like a roller to roll my hair underneath instead of flipping it out. And then pull that out. So I know it's curled in inside the diffuser. I think I might actually miss this haircut length. It's so fast to dry. Oh, fun. I feel like the back right here looks a little bit straight for me. I want a little bit more texture there. So I'm gonna come in a little bit more undressed. I try to left hand spray that. Y'all, my left hand is just for decoration. I don't know about you guys. Anybody else feel the same way? I feel like that kind of gives me the pieciness and texture I'm looking for. I haven't clipped my roots in such a long time. My hair was so short it didn't need it, but now I feel like I do need a little boost here and there. Now I clip my clients hair very differently than I clip my own. Normally I rainbow clip them. You can see how I do that in the Wavy Experience class. And I've got another class coming out soon that will be called Low Density Love. I'm so excited about it. That will be coming out later in the summer of 2022. I'm just gonna clip this from underneath. I just want a little bit of boost right there. Just right there. So Low Density Love will come out soon and it follows a Wavy through a lower density haired Wavy through a haircut appointment with me and the different techniques that we follow to help her wavy hair look a little thicker and fuller. It's really fun, it's a good one. Now I'm gonna hover diffuse these clips that I've just put in place and then I'll let them set while I put my makeup on and meet you back in my bedroom for the final reveal. All done, all set. Clips out, let's give it a little shake. And it's fun, right? Like it's a fun hairstyle. It's a really, really easy haircut. I think I might miss it on my way to the bob. We'll see if I make it. There's a strong chance I won't and that I may end up coming back and just cutting it again later. So this is how I style the Meg Ryan. And that's it and that's all. Have a great curl day, friends. It's been far too long. I'll be back later with more.